everybody, I'm Mahogany Locks, and today I have a get ready video for you guys. I teamed up with CoverGirl, who actually gave me tickets to the Pitch Perfect 2 premiere. That's tonight, and I'm so, so excited to go. This is the look that I'm going for. It's kind of a bold, yet clean kind of look. And um, if, you, if you stay tuned, you can see how I did this. Also, we did an acapella challenge. B. Miller and Allie Simpson also did it too, so if you want to see their videos and my video, make sure you go down below to see that. And let's get to the get ready video, shall we? So I already primed my face and I also filled in my brows a little bit to give my face some shape. Right now I'm going to use the True Blend foundation just to make sure my face is even and so I don't have any of those little dudes chilling, you know. I'm going to start with the foundation in the center and work my way out so it's sheer but it still covers my problem areas. So let's let's do that. Shall we? So I always use foundation like this because I don't want to cover up my freckles. Dun, 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 dun. Right before I'm done with my foundation, I like to take my hands and rub it over my face because the warmth of your fingers actually blends it in better. And I think it looks natural. Yeah. So I'm going to do a little bit of contouring to give my face some definition. And I'm going to be using the foundation D3 in Honey Beige. And pretty much I just go in and shade here, here, and here. To contour here, the guideline is to start at the top of your ear and then you go to the corner of your eye. To contour your chin, you have to start behind your ear and then go all the way to your chin on both sides so they meet up in the middle so people don't know you're wearing makeup, even though you are. Secret. So right now I'm using the CoverGirl Quad. They're all very neutral colors, and I always tend to do neutral colors because I like it with my like eyes and my skin tone. I think it looks earthy. I'm using the second one because I want to do more of a golden bronze vibe. These eyeshadows are really nice because they go on and they're very pigmented, so you don't have to put too much on, and you can just glide over your lid and it's full of color. So the next step I'm doing is my liner. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Intensify Me liner and I'm really excited about it because it has a paddle brush, which I've never seen before, and it makes it really easy to do thin lines and thick lines. I'm gonna start with my lower lash line and I'm gonna bring it up to elongate it and then I'm gonna bring it all together. Let's, let's go. <laughs> The trick to the Intensify Me liner is you can glide it on or you can just tap it on. Like, look how thick and beautiful. It's my go-to, y'all. Shout out to CoverGirl. Thanks for hooking it up. So the next step I'm doing is gonna be curling my lashes and mascara. So to curl your lashes, you stick your lashes in this little contraption and you squeeze it. So now that my lashes are curled, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara, which is really cool because the wand is actually really thin, but it gets all the little, the little lashes and makes them just as full as the big ones. And it's real nice, so. What I have to do is twist it. I, for one, cannot apply falsies, so this is very beneficial. <laughs> So since this is a thinner wand, it's really going to help lengthen your lashes and it gets every lash, which is so nice. <laughs> Whoa, is she wearing falsies? No. So I like to do my top lashes first and then wait a few seconds, then do my bottom lash so I don't get mascara all over. And if you do, use a cotton swab to get it off. I like to make sure my corner lashes are like the longest lash so my eyes look elongated. The next step I'm going to be using the Colorlicious lipstick in 305 and it is just a really really bright red which I love red lipstick. The Colorlicious products are really nice because it keeps your lips hydrated and doesn't dry it out and I really love that in a lipstick because it's the worst when your lips get chapped and you're rocking some lipstick and everyone's looking you know you don't you're not trying to look crusty. So I'm going to apply on the bottom and then do that little like Thing, just to blend it out. 
It's crazy because I have freckles on my lips and this is so red that it pretty much covers my freckles. And that was step one. So quick tip so you don't get lipstick on your teeth. You take your thumb, you put it in your mouth and you drag it out so it won't get on your pearly whites. Let's try it. Look at it. Look at that. Not on my teeth. That's where it's not supposed to be, so I'm glad it's not there. So now I'm gonna take the lip lava in 830 and I'm gonna apply it all over my lips just so I get a nice gloss and shine. So you can see my lips from all the way. One thing about this gloss is it doesn't feel sticky, like a lot of glosses do. Since I did the bold lip and eye, I decided instead of using blush, I'm just gonna use the quad again, but I'm gonna use the first color as a highlighter. I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones and my nose. Give me that nice little, little shimmer. And that's all for my face. This is my final look. I absolutely love my CoverGirl makeup. I feel like I'm not wearing any makeup, which is my favorite thing about this because I still feel fresh and I don't feel like I'm caked on or anything. And for my outfit, I am wearing a whole bunch of fringe. And um, it's a really cool coat, keeps you nice and warm. And it also gives you a lot of movement so you can express yourself. And then I'm also wearing a white crop top that has really cool bell-like sleeves with some sparkles on them, some rhinestones. You know how much I love glitter, y'all. And I'm also wearing my cat ears, like always. And that's the completed look. Also, thank you so, so much to CoverGirl for hooking it up. I'm Mahogany Locks. Bye.